So here I am at the world's biggest dinosaur museum, the Thanksgiving Point Museum of Ancient Life. Oh man, that's so cool. At Torvosaurus and the running Othniella, and there's the Quetzalcoatlus right there, life size and everything. Here's an epic placoderm skull. Okay, so we're just at the beginning of the museum, and at the very entrance, we've got this awesome, super jolly male green iguana. He's really huge, and we've got this awesome vivarium to go with him. He's got a nice life. Here's an epic placoderm skull. Okay, so this is super awesome. One of the new exhibits that the museum has is an Allosaurus fighting a Ceratosaurus. So you can tell it's it's a smaller Ceratosaurus and you know, about your average size Allosaurus, probably 25, maybe 30 feet long. I'm guessing this guy would have weighed maybe two and a half to three tons in life. This Ceratosaurus, I mean, you know, obviously, it still totally rip you apart. But the Allosaurus, I think, is going to take this. Precambrian! Petrified lightning! Okay, guys, here's a Devonian tide pool. We got some crazy ammonites, blemnites, trilobites, all the ites, nephites, lamanites. Oh, man. This is awesome. Oh, look. And there's like this little hollow bit right there, and I'm afraid that if I get... Oh, oh, wow, something just bit me. That's so cool. Tentacles. Look at all the tentacles. Here's another ceiling mount. This is... I can't tell what type of shark this is, really, but it's one of the primitive Devonian sharks. We've got some placoderms. These guys are featured in Chased by Dinosaurs. They're so cool. And guess what? They're running from a life-size Dunkleosteus model. This thing is 25 feet long. It is awesome. Here's some people to scale it. Okay, the Devonian was like the time for fish. We had all of these crazy chimeras and sharks evolving. Look at that. Spiny chimera. We've got uh, first angelfish. Some, some more placoderms preserved. That crazy stonefish thing. This one is actually... Okay, that's, that's awesome. El Weirdo. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the, it's it's called El Weirdo. Here are quite possibly the biggest trilobites ever. We've got Teratespa giganteus and Curanira. Here's my hand for scale. Except it's not really to scale because that's further behind the glass. Add another, like, two inches to ang size it. Oh man, these are the weirdest little things ever. Look at that. These are all trilobites. This one still has the horns preserved. Three-dimensionally. That is so cool. Okay, looks like you've got some orthocones. I don't know if you can really see them, but those are about those are about six feet long. And we actually have looks like we have a J. Coloteris up here, which, you know, that's that thing is the biggest arthropod ever, pretty much. Maybe second to Acapura. This thing is about nine feet long. Okay, first appearance of the mammal like reptiles, the synapsids. And here is the the Ecdont, I think. Just like Primeval, said Nancy. Dimetrodon, full-size Dimetrodon. I don't think this is de grandis, otherwise it would have been a little bigger. But as you can tell, it's still pretty hefty animal. And we've got some advanced amphibians here, Eerops, still surviving into the into the Permian, early Permian. These are pretty nasty buggers. Totally rip your face off. They're awesome. Ha 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 ha! Tyrannosaurus is triggered. Oh man. Okay, that that ammonite right there—it's about the size of a large child. We have some ichthyosaurs. There's a dead ichthyosaur being eaten by some. Uh, looks like trilobite relatives, a horseshoe crab kind of thing. There's a sunken ammonite. Awesome, like angel shark type thing, and actually some some early squid. Oh, it's a Diplodocus skull, and look, look look up there, it's a shadow of of something, of 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 what is that? A supersaurus and a brachiosaurus. 
Okay, okay so we've got a bunch of giant roaches. Each one is about the size of a mouse, maybe a little bigger. We've got a, a primitive amphibian here going into the arthropleur again. This this one is probably about six feet long. This is so cool, guys. I'm actually seeing a real Scutosaurus skull. I've wanted to see one of those ever since I saw uh, Walking with walking with Monsters when I was a kid. Here's a Lystrosaur, all the stuff on. And it looks like there's actually a Gorgonopsid skull right there. Okay, here's a child for comparison. Here is the shadow of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This guy, this this is a big one. It's got to be 40 feet long at least. I don't know which one it's a cast of, but it is beautiful. Oh look, there's two of them. This I'm pretty sure this is one of the only museums in the world to have two full-size Tyrannosaurus skeletons on display, and even that, they're they're fighting. They are actually in challenging positions towards one another, which is awesome! Archelon, the king of turtles. I like turtles. And just in case you were missing your Mosasaur, here is a full-grown Tylosaurus protégeur. Okay, he's a Fanctinus. He's, he's four feet tall. Go up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And this is the ribcage of a Brachiosaurus. All the way over there. That's... Wow. Us and them. This is us, this is them. Okay, here we have another awesome diorama thing. We got the waterfall going down to the river where there are actual living fish. Ostique these. And we have pachycephalosaurs ramming each other in the head. Ah! Here is one of the last great dinosaur predators, Diatrema. We've got an intelodon. Oh, we're filming. Trigonius. An awesome glyptodont or panuchthus. Saber toothed cat. And giant ground sloth. This, it's, that's that's big. Ho ho ho! Basilosaurus slash Zeuglodon skull. Awesome. What is this? Carcharodon carcarius? Great white shark. Mm, wow, that's pretty big. It's almost as big as this guy. Okay, man. Come back to the shark. Okay, man. Now back to the shark. Oh, the man's gone. Probably because the shark ate him. Carcaricles Megalodon. That is awesome. Just the head, because, you know, they wouldn't be able to fit the whole thing. When you ever think that your life is having trouble, just think of this guy. He doesn't even know his own species. What? What are humans doing here? Humans are so weird. Oh, oh, these are pretty tiny humans. Maybe that's how Thor feels about the rest of us. Mammoth! So, this specimen of Mammoths is actually the largest ever recovered from North America. It's probably about 12 feet tall at the head. I always think this part is hilarious. Okay, this model blows me away with how amazingly well constructed it is. It's beautiful, the detail and everything. It really reminds me a lot of uh, Gregory S. Paul's reconstructions. So we've got the tentacle graves attacking an excellent off the Elia. Just look at all the angles on that, it's so cool. Okay, so right here, uh, a trio of Goniophilus, uh, primitive Jurassic crocodiles, are eating a fallen Stegosaurus. There's the actual water of the river and everything, the plants, the trees, the jungle. Oh, look, and the largest ramp rinkid ever. I think it's a Harpactinathus, nine foot wingspan. That is awesome. And there's the baby Stegosaur that is panicking as its parent, relative, uncle, brother, mother, who knows, uh, gets ripped apart by crocodiles. Life-size Utah Raptor skeleton. This one is a beast. It's not as the maximum size, obviously. I'd guess this one is about six meters, so closer to Dakota Raptor size, but still. Six meters, 800 plus kilograms. That is a scary animal. Yeah, remember my pal Supersource earlier? Well, 
here's a sense of just how big this one was. It overlaps. Yeah, it keeps going, keep going. The tail is still behind this, this full-size Brachiosaurus. Keep going. This is a 40-foot tall Brachiosaurus, by the way. Keep going. Keep going. All the way to the other side of the room. Its, it's tail alone is as long as a full-size Brachiosaurus. This Superstaurus has got to be at least 100 feet. The rib cage of a Brachiosaurus with the flesh and everything, it would have been like twice the size of an African elephant. Okay, this diorama is the coolest thing ever. We've got like a Tanistrophius right here. Going under the water, there's Dunkley Stews. Primitive plant. Oh look, land! Sea foam! Ramparinkids! More Ramparinkids. Wow, that's a lot of Ramparinkids. Pladiosaurus. Oh, excuse me. More Ramparinkids. Let me actually have some Iguanodonts. There's a boneyard right there. It's amazing that they just built all this. It's so detailed. Dilophosaurus. Going into the Jurassic Stegosaurus, we've got actually a, a, a sturgeon, freshwater sturgeon going up there. Some sauropods. I want to buy these at the store. These are the coolest things ever. Oh, look at that gore. That is savage. Brilophosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Kylosaurus. What are the Cretaceous? Oh, yeah. Uh, some sort of masked crocodile. I'm not sure what it was doing in the Jurassic period, but I'm sure there were some that I don't know about. Oh, we've got a Saltosaurus there. Oh, another corpse, too. Sucomimus, I think. Possibly Baryonyx. Uh, we have another... That one's pretty generic, actually. Oh, look at the T-Rex ripping that thing to shreds. Triceratops. Uh, we've got an Elasmosaurus. Carnotaur, and possibly... Oh, we're gonna make it look into the wall. Possibly one of the most inaccurate Spinosaurus I've seen in a long time, but, you know, it's still nostalgic. What? Chronosaurus eating the Elasmosaurus. This, okay. That is savage. Okay, this is a Ramparinkus, the actual thing. Ramparinkus right here. Put my hand on the glass for scale. You can see the impressions left by the skin on the wings, creating the sort of uh, patagium structures. Even some, oh, it's so detailed and beautiful. Okay, this is the pelvis of a Supersaurus. Of that. That 20 foot tall beast. Oh, wow. The only accurate Spinosaurus model in existence.